afternoon, ladies, gentlemen, non binaries out there. Welcome in. It's a Thursday, so that means Chrono Trigger time. And so, yes, we are in prehistoric land again. We are going to go. I believe we've got to go north. North and east across to right here. For the, ter the pterodactyl. Or dactyl trials. Dactyl nest. So let's do it. How are you guys doing? I hope you're all well. It's been a huge week, eh? <laughs> but I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're doing okay. Very Now, I don't have much of a plan for this afternoon of this, because <laughs> I don't remember much of it. <laughs> Raise, eh? Ooh, so we found more stuff. Gotta watch my health. So let's look at our health. Like so. Yeah, I hope that everyone who is watching is having a good day. It's certainly been a week, I can tell you that much. <laughs> I mean, if we're taking away the rocks, he can't hit us, right? Oh, 
cosa. Yes, please, that's very handy. I mean, you put a dent in him, but I don't think he did much else. <laughs> There's Robin. So, Robin, what are you doing? Pogey! You would go alone? I do not know what has driven you to this quest, but a friend of Pogey's is a friend of mine. I will not stand by while you go to your grave. No, to have an old danger, you cannot come. Maybe we'll die. I don't know why Robin speaks like that, you know. <laughs> you wish to die alone, Ned? I fear I cannot allow that. You not have to have any who accepted your aid and hospitality. There has been a death enough on my watch. I will abide no more. Let us be on our way, Pogey. Robin, have a good friend. Uh, well, yeah, let, let's proceed to Tyranno Lair, yeah? Yeah, let's do that, yeah. Yeah, let's bring Gadgin. FMV was full. Oh. Let's be smart. Chucks Wow. <laughs> oh, this music, let's just.
Cool, Let, let's appreciate this for a few moments. That's about 250, well, 350, 300. Prisoners. Fair enough. Oh, it's handy to have. <laughs> Turn key. We're about to have a feast, and you're about to be the roast beast. <laughs> Well, really. It's the apes! Gay, you bastards. Take that, you peen ass. <laughs> Learned cat attack. Thunder chomp jewel tech. The hell? Kino, Robin, Kino, move back. Robin said Kino. That's button there. to do now Kino sorry all Kino's fault it's okay Kino take all the river person run <laughs> what Robin do strong live weak die Robin God be strong Kino go too Kino no come Robin die Kino new I Ioka chief Not been strong! <laughs> no lose, yeah, exactly. Kino, no. Kino, show you something. Follow Kino. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. You're strong. Kino, weak. Kino, jealous. Smart, lad, save. <laughs> lad, avoid need us fight, apparently.
Good lord, what are you doing? Bloody good job I saved it, eh? Was, um... I mean, that was definitely something. <laughs> I should have went there. I should have done that. I should have went. Bollocks, never mind. So, so far, we've had a little bit of story. Take this. Six hundred and one XP. Triceratopper. Uh... Wait, she might as well take the mystery, right? Kill him off.
Sod it, we'll come up here. <laughs> I mean, obviously, we're going to have to get our magic points up a bit, but... I'd expect this fun. Lucky though, right. We need health. Just stop bloody moving. Oh, fuckers. Wasn't fast enough. I mean, they're... the speed that they get, that this one gets, is thing me at least. Hello, Flossie. That's all right. That's all right here, you know. How do? At the moment, yeah. I mean, this this area is going to be a bit of a a drain on resources, but you know what? It's fun.
Dungeons and Drinking. That is a great name. It's going all right, thank you. It's going all right. I mean, we've had a um, eventful time over here, <laughs> to say the least. Oh yeah, both small ones. Oh, but how are you? How are you? Welcome in. You enjoying your playthrough of this game? Are you at the similar or further on than I am? That's the big question. But yeah, I like that name. Dungeons and Drinking is a great name. Aha, fair enough. So I won't spoil anything for you then. Same here. I've had Flossie, I've had my um, podcast co-host James, say, you know, saying how great a game this is. And it's been in my backlog for a little bit now, you know. Magic large, you need to use magic. Yeah, considering how old it is, it's really good in terms of... You know, the quality of building it. Yeah, James is in the middle of doing a playthrough of Chrono Cross on the YouTube channel. There we go. Robin's level has increased. That big monster's such a pain in the backside though, isn't he? Victory Pose made it look like they were offering Chrono to the snake for sacrifice. Ooh. Now, Zelda games I have not played at all. That's got to be the door in the middle, right? Yep. Yeah. Oh, I thought I was going to get away with it there, but no. at the moment I'm also playing through Symphony of the Night. Thank you for the follow on Tuesday. Fridays on our YouTube channel it's it's between Formula One and League of Legends which next League of Legends is tomorrow around about 2 p.m. UK time. Uh, Sundays I start playing The Ascent. So a veritable mixed bag of stuff. Looking for Azala. She's just through here. Oh, you lovely bastard. Well, let's use a shelter. And save it. <laughs> but I hope I have a good team for this. Because I think we're on the thing, aren't we? 
<laughs> yeah. This music is brilliant, though. Hold it. When I said she's through here, I meant you gotta get through me first. What do you think I was, I was flexing my muscles looking there all intimidating for? I just thought you looked like a bit of a bum bum hole. I mean, to be fair... I have seen, you know, a lot more... A lot more smaller creatures hitting harder than them, so... That's good, that's okay. So he, he does need a f magic at him. Uh, yeah, lightning seems to be the one. Hmm. Robin kiss herself. have to keep an eye on my health though, that's the only problem. Well, let's get everybody healed up a little bit. My trick is gone, Crano! <laughs> How you doing, Jay? Oh, come on, that was just... Okay, that's taking the piss now.
It's I keep getting hit, Jay. It's not fair. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> oh. I mean, to be fair, that was squeaky bum time battle, that. <laughs> Just throw your party members in the bad it seemed to work. It, it, it kind of does, but that's putting them under the bus. And I've already seen someone try to throw, throw everyone under a bus at the moment. Apart from themselves. Because it's never their bloody fault. So, you know. <laughs> But again, it's time to just appreciate this music. <laughs> column A, column B. <laughs> But we know it's column A, Jay. <laughs> wibbly, 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 Oh, piss. <laughs> yeah, it's, um... It's a very good idea he stepped down for all the lies and bullshit he's peddled. Put it that way, Flossy. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> I did. One of them's enough. Yeah. The, I'm just not going to answer anything you ask me. Yeah, true. At least I got a save point and healing in between. Thank you. Right. <laughs> Let's be sensible about this, large. I mean, I may have to take him on again. But hey, at least we're levelling up, right? Right, um, in layman's terms, in Too Long Didn't Read, about Boris Johnson. Over the years, he has lied a lot. I think, realistically, him telling the truth is a rarity. He's had so many mistresses, 
including the one he's currently married to. Um, the past couple of years, he lied about... He lied about parties while we're in lockdown where people couldn't even see their grands or granddads or people in, in care homes. He was put people in, in positions of power that are so far up his ass they can see out of his nostrils. Um, he knew someone was a sexual predator about two, two, three years ago and then employed him in a position of power and then he went on to touch up a couple of men in a nightclub anyway. And he then he lied about that over the weekend. A lot. Yeah. And even then, up until today, he didn't want to go down. He was blaming everybody else but him. And the thing was, he was hiding it or trying to hide it in his younger days through bluster and coming across as a bit of um, a bit of a buffoon, but would try and make you laugh. Like how he won the popular vote to become London Mayor. He is a bit like Trump, yes. I mean, to be fair, you guys have had to deal with Trump. And you're still feeling the effects of him with the Supreme Court bollocks. Oh, shit! No! Oh. Oh, I closed the bloody door, didn't I? Fuck me! Yep. <laughs> and even then when he told him to go, it's like, No, I'm not going to go. No, no, no. It's, like, it's best if you go, mate. No, 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 no. Uh, I have a mandate, a personal mandate, and 14 million people voted me in. No, they voted your colleagues in, and because you were leader, you by default became... I can't believe I pressed... Well, actually, no, sorry. I can believe I pressed the wrong fucking button, didn't I, to close the door. Yep. And then you've got the, the completely stupid Nadine Doris. Who calls it a tennis pitch. I'll put it this way, mate. And this is this is allegedly, right? Here's my allegedly on this. I wouldn't be surprised if allegedly we're in the next six months, him and Nadine Doris are caught having an affair. Cause you look how how she's been defending him.
<laughs> yeah, allegedly, yeah. It wouldn't surprise me. Would not surprise me, mate. I tell you. But it's all imploding in their faces and I'm fucking loving it. <laughs> yeah, pretty key to the bowl on the way in. Yeah, who's going to replace him? There was one I saw on BBC News earlier that I thought, yeah, they sound they sound decent enough. Oh God, no, no, no. <laughs> Nice. I think that's a fear we can we can be okay with of not happening. But there's there was one called there's one called Steve Barker who has said about doing, you know, helping leaders and that set them up for leadership and that for years. And he said this morning on BBC News that he was thinking of running himself for the first time. Um, now, he sounded pretty straight, you know, pretty head on straight with a little bit of common sense and decency, which, again, surprising for a Tory, I know. Until he said one thing. And that was, oh, all the public are Tory voters. They just sometimes vote for Labour. And I heard that and went, excuse me, that's slander. I never have and never will vote for fucking Tory. Why does it keep doing that? I pushed too far over, didn't I? Fuck's sake. <laughs> Do I not press the buttons and go round so I don't fall? Yeah, I pushed too far, now I've made a mess, yep. <laughs> Sounds like Boris. Pretty much is. I think I know what I'm gonna do this next time. Apart from tossing my boulder, which sounds, you know, sounds extremely rude. save <laughs> because of course dungeons and drinkings did you have the same sort of problem here a 
let's do that instead, shall we, eh? Obtain Haifa. I do not regret saving as often as I am. At last, a final confrontation. It was but a matter of time. Will it be... <laughs> be we reptites who inherit the earth, or do you soft-skinned depths? Strong live, <laughs> weak die. Robin, just fight. Hear that lovely voice? <laughs> so we're hearing more of it than <laughs> you ever wish. Oh no. No, 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 oh no. Oh no, 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 no. No, 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 oh no, no. Would it be a good time to try and go back and get some more health, more potions? I mean, it might be wise. Tell you what, we'll have a we'll have a go at this. Damnable red star, <laughs> fool! Why don't you stay near, Fred? <laughs> Even should have through our fate to die, we will not relinquish this world to the likes of you. This black Tyranno will have the honour of wiping your you filthy apes from existence forever. That's not too bad to hit that, but... What the hell? Surely, if we can kick the shit out of him. This machine type thing won't. You missed tossing your boulder at him.
so he doesn't... Uh, it's restoring power, we need to... We need to do something quick. Falcon Strike feels like a good move. Can we kill this thing off though? This is... It's taking its time, isn't it? <laughs> Alright, now combo. Went on stream, eh? <laughs> and played Gwent in a long time, to be fair. Ah, fair enough. <laughs> yeah, right at the bottom, yes. <laughs> You know, Steam just doesn't want to decide it. I just actually hide it for, uh, especially when I'm playing games where I have to. Oh, you know all that. <laughs> Come on! Lots of hurting comes after one. This. It's the fire countdown. Wow, 
Why is he taking... Yeah, nom 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 It's like, good lord, you're taking the world to die! Yay! <laughs> we got him at last! <laughs> Fire two! Bye-bye! No! It can't be! Good heavens, truly I'm signing with the apes! You dirty goddamn apes! <laughs> Listen, primates, I'd let it be no for all time. We were tight, fought proudly to the bitter end. Yeah. Cheated, but hey. He was 25, yeah. <laughs> Here's 25 toilet rolls. They will last you for two weeks. Robin, no. Uh -huh. First, a great fiery stone will crash to the earth. Its flames will soon spread to scorch every corner of the land. Then a chill will begin to creep across the blackened plains, ushering in a long, cruel age of ice and snow. <laughs> a fitting end to our age indeed. <laughs> Lavos. L Lavos? It's Meteor, isn't it? <laughs> Robin, people words. La means fire. Voss means big. <laughs> and lo, Final Fantasy VII Remake was born. Robin. <laughs> Kino. <laughs> hurry, Lavos falls soon. I love this. I love this when it says hurry and they just stay there. All right, Dactyle. Kino, hurry. <laughs> Robin, what you do? Come, Azala, come. No, this is the will of the earth. It is not the lard of the earth, thank you. Robin, hurry! <laughs> Azala, Robin, not forget. Take. Take? What take? It's a hot take. <laughs> take care. Of this world. It's a slow take. <laughs> True, it is the take your time. Like they're making my uh it's a shit <laughs> it's a shitaki. <laughs> Like they're making my bloody crab and thing me. Bloody steam deck. So Lavos arrived all this time ago. Yeah, fireball. Or was he part of the, the meteor? Just lying dormant. 
<laughs> there won't be much room soon. Hey! Ba -dum -tsh. That was huge. Pokey fight that? Yeah, not yet. <laughs> this is not so funky. I thought it was the meek that will inherit the earth. You know the ones that turn up and go, um, excuse me, is this ours? Pogi, we could place Lavos full. <laughs> She's right. We may be able to do something now. Let's go and see. No, we won't be able to. And then cause a nice issue. <laughs> Cap it off. Hey! Boom, ba -doom, ba -doom. Now we have to make room for the mushrooms. Why is there a gate here? Lavos fast. Deep under earth now. Now I understand. The immense energy that Lavos gives off must be stretched in time and space. That's what's causing the gates. What wrong, Pogi? Want to fight Lavos? Go here? No. I mean... Yeah, it was the nearest gate to Lavos after all. I have no idea where we are. Pogi, where's this place? I don't know. Stop asking me. Well, I'm off to weed the garden. No worries, dude. <laughs> Not a joke actually happening. No worries, dude. You lurk away. Hopefully it doesn't take you too long. Oh. Welcome into to Enhancer, Zeal City of Dreams. We seek enlightenment within the bliss of sleep. You are not one of us, are you? This is the magic kingdom of zeal, where dreams can be made reality. But nothing in this world comes free. There's always a price to be paid. Yes. When is there not? You are most usual and unusual visitors. Am I waking? Or is this but a continuation of my dream? Regardless of that, I welcome to Zeal. Her Majesty Queen Zeal rules in this magic kingdom. She is without peer in the beauty of grace. We owe our prosperity to Her Majesty the Queen. After the King died, she encouraged the development of our kingdom's magical prowess, which has led to great advancements. <laughs> the Queen has sealed away the great elemental weapons and armors forged to the power of the sun in the Shrine to the North. You can see its entrance on the North Continent, but no one is allowed inside it now. So up there to get cool weapons and stuff to be, to take care of Lavos, I, I suspect. The door to another shrine is sealed by powerful force. Even we, the enlightened ones, lack the means to open it, which may open the other chests that we've seen. Now, Flossie, in your opinion, you said last week where I was up to was chapter 15 out of 31. 
Where would you say uh, am I now? Am I 16, 17 or maybe 18? Welcome. Have you come to do business? Of course. I already have tried two Triceratoppers, so I could do... Oh, okay. I have one in stock already, okay. Yes, and Haza. Chapter eighteen, nice. Okay. Oh wait, I've been selling these fuckers, aren't I? Bollocks, no, 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 no. Why did I sell the ba bastards for? That was stupid. Right, okay, hang on. Hang on, hang on. I got a reload there. I did a, I did a stupid. I did a stupid. I have to reload. By the way, chronolo chronology is next up on the uh, on the 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 uh, thing me the thing me gummies the backlog when I come back from a break because uh, after I finish Chrono Trigger after I finish the Ascent and after I've cr finished Symphony of the Night I'm taking a break. It'll only be about a week to ten days off, but considering I haven't taken a break uh, since when I came back in um, Boxing Day last year, I think I'm allowed one. Wait, hang on, what bookmarked game? Oh, bollocks, it bookmarked that one, didn't it? Eh. I have to reload it. Nah, right. Because I was selling my stuff. Why was I selling Ether and that? I should have just bought the bus. Because I wasn't paying attention. That's what I was doing. I'm a dumbass. I'll see when natural thought goes by rather than I mean if I if I can see a way to you know get more story then definitely definitely go more story yes Silly me.
But yeah, there'll be places over there we can look at as well, so... We have a plenty to... We have plenty to explore now. And we've got a lovely time to do it, too. Right, let's... Let's again... Yes, yes, yes. It's, I, I just see how it is, because if we play it, if I play it as I would normally intend to, you know, just going by instinct, and just doom come what may, then it's an ending, isn't it, really? But we shall see, we shall see. Bye. Sell that. Sell the golden suit. We don't need to do those. It's fine, right? Phew. <laughs> That's much more like it. But yeah, if I stumble across an ending, I stumble across an ending. It's just that that's just the way it is. Eh? Hey, what's wrong? You have something to say? What's wrong? That animal to eat tastes good. Don't try to eat a cat, Robin. I mean, what's wrong with you? The black winds howl. One among you will shortly perish. But hey, what, what do you mean? It's only a bad joke. Prophecy is completely unscientific. Strange boy, but not bad boy. Beware those black winds, they be dirty. Hello again, Silent Knight. How are you doing? And I say to you, whoosh! Rest your wearied mind and body within, Traveller. Lovely. The Queen's Palace sits at the heart of our kingdom. She watches all over the world from its high vantage point. Because of that, we can sleep our days away in peace. Urgh. Not oh, we're in the Northern Shrine. Now that key to unlock its seal is held at the palace. Treasure is strictly forbidden in the name of Her Majesty the Queen. Mm. 
The city of Kajar, the high seat of magical research, lies on the edge of the western continent. Okay. The airship of Blackbird is maintained there as well. <laughs> the world you see with your eyes may well differ from completely from the one I see with mine. There are as many different worlds as there are observers. Never assume that only those things which you can see or touch are real. So if it's in dreams, the world exists in me. Wow. Okay, so this is where a shop is then. And we have to go north. So we can't go that way, that way. So that loads that way, so we've got to probably go through the cave areas to get to the other side, right? So that's the blackbird, so how do we get down to there? So. We'll look at Kajal first, the blackbird, and then we'll look at the cave area. Yeah, I'd say it's the same sort of theory as from what you hear yourself talk is different to what other people hear you as. Your power differs from others. It's difficult to describe, but in you I sense a strange kindness. In ancient times, people crafted wondrous weapons and armor by combining shards of a rainbow-colored shell with the sunstone's power. But now only the guru of life knows the art of crafting such things. And even if others did, the queen has ordered us to abandon use of the sun's power. Ah, such beauteous contentment there is in newly blossomed bud. Would that I could be a flower. That's the Sun Temple, which you can see on the southern Sky Isle. Sunstone, once our primary source of power, is enshrined there. However, the temple is sealed up along with the northern shrine once we turned to our new energy source. The Queen claimed we would no need for the energy of the, t of the tired old sun. So yes, yeah, so the southern and northern shrines, okay. Yes, still looking, yes. So, I wonder how far in the, in the timeline this is. Oh, hello! <laughs> me, 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 me. So that's another shop. Oh! Hey, hello. Now those lacking magic are known as the earthbound ones. They've always lived beneath the clouds. It's only fitting, after all, they lack our talents. <laughs> well, I'll we'll get you and your, your pomposity. My, you have an unusual aura. I know I've heard that before. You must possess the gift too. That seems very primitive compared to ours, though. 
you poor thing. How is that we came to have the powers we do? Why do some possess the gift while others lack it? It is a conundrum. The Majesty Queen Zeal has two children. Lady Scala and young Lord Janus. Janus! Janus! <laughs> Lady Scala is an incredible child with extraordinary magical powers. With such a gift, her life must be all ease and luxury. Doubt it. What tempest must rage in lung in lung in young Lord Janus's head? His only friend, other than his sister, is that cat that follows him about. The, li the little one that we saw. We've been seeing a great deal of young Lord Janus lately. Before, he scarcely, scarcely showed his face. Now he paces around quite often, always looking upset. Hmm. The structure you can see deep beneath the waves below is the Ocean Palace, a symbol of our Queen's greatness. The palace is the beacon of light which will guide us to a brighter future. All praise the great and wondrous Queen Zeal. I don't know, do I have to? I don't really want to. The Earthbound Ones are being allowed to work on the construction of the Ocean Palace. It seems even they have their purpose. Construction in the Ocean Palace has fallen behind schedule. An everlasting palace beneath the waves. We decide to see when it's finished. Behold, that out the window is a great blackbird, built by Belhazar. The guru of reason. To see it soar across the sky, you'd think it alive. The guru is a genius. We'll be having that blackbird shortly then. Wait, what? <laughs> the gurus of life, time and reason dwell in zeal. Their knowledge and skill is about equal. Wibbly wobbly timey wimey. <laughs> Zeal's progress stems from our new energy source. Its power far surpasses that of sun's elemental energy. Time gates. I heard a strange prophet has come to the palace. I didn't know the details, but I've heard he has powers most uncanny. I've been working to fashion a capsule that will enhance one's magical skill. But my precious products have been disappearing in recent days. It must be that naughty new that took them. Naughty new. Naughty. They do so love pranks. He has no doubt hidden them all about. How can I work like this? I don't know. How can you work like this? I've heard Lady Scarlet's powers far surpass those of her mother. Then there's her brother, young Lord Janus. He's of royal blood as well, of course, but doesn't speak the trace of magical ability. He's a prophet. He's in profit. You know this, Traveller. The Moonstone can be restored to a glorious sunstone if left to bask in the sun's warm light. But such will require aeons. None of us will ever witness a glorious, gorgeous glow again. Kiri once told me that the Sunstone once held all the nearly infinite energy of our sun. Over time, that energy was slowly depleted and it turned into the lightness Moonstone. Moonstone! Ah, oh, yes, I know Moonstone well. Water summons wind. Wind makes fire dance. But be careful of the fire, because it may burn your pants. Let's see what the blackbird is all about before we go, thing me. Why are you here? All is well with the blackbird, I presume? She is fully operational, Lord Dalton. Of course she is, you blundering idiot. Were she not, we'd all be in trouble. You, what are you doing here? Hmm, that's Claire's. 
You must be the ones the Prophet said would come to interfere. Interfere? How dare you? I think I shall watch for the time being and see how this, he, he plays his hand. Not that I suspect he'll, he'll tip his card so easily. <laughs> so the black red symbol of seal's enhancement. Right, okay, so we can't do anything else for the seal. I guess the small cave then we'll have to go in. We don't want to go through all that exposition though, do we? Not again. So we saved it. Because that's going to be with the palace, isn't it? Okay, excuse me, Queen, could you unseal these two doors? Thank you. I zeal what they did there. This is the Queen's Palace in the centre of the Magic Kingdom of Zeal, which is to say, it's the centre of the universe. The source of our energy rests deep below the sea. Once this exact location was determined, we began constructing the Ocean Palace there. Lots of exposition here, folks, in the last half hour. The portal to the Ocean Palace is in Her Majesty's, Majesty's audience chamber. Mind you, it hasn't been completed yet. Uh. The Queen's two children, Lady Scarla and Lord Janus, get along so well. If only young Lord Janus would open up to others. Hey, he did. He told us one of us is going to die. All right. A pendant of yours. Looks like Lady Scarlet's. Doesn't glow like hers. Oh, has to have a glow, does it? It's very glowing, is it? That wandering prophet is amazing. Every prophecy to escape his lips has come to pass. This is how he already knows the events to come. Unnerving, is it not? My, what strange clothes! You must have travelled from afar. It's fun to recover if you'd like to recover from your long journey. There's many fonts of recovery here. Do you like plants? Yes. Ooh, I love them too! But the Queen ordered me to burn this tiny sapling I received from the Guru of Life. He said it was a special tree with powers to restore the earth. Oh, what shall I do? Grow it in secret. You're right. The Queen's orders, though they may be, it wouldn't do to burn a gift from the Guru of Life. Very well then, I'll care for it somewhere safe and secret. Someday, we just have someone else who loves the earth and trees. Yes, that's a good plan. Do not burn trees. Yes, silly bugger. Oh, itchy, could you scratch my back? Yeah, of course. Oh, wonderful. Oh, oh, right there. Oh, you got it. Oh, ah. Phew, thank you. Discovered the new scratching spot. Okay. <laughs> that man appeared only recently, but he earned the Queen's trust quickly with his startlingly accurate predictions. His origins are a mystery. He's not one of us. Light and ones, but nor is he an earthbound one. But where could he search? Could such a man have come? Were you aware Bethazar, the girl of reason, maintained secret chambers in Enhaza and Kajar? I wasn't, but apparently I do now. You did best to speak to the Queen or the Gurus if you wish to learn about the Mamma machine in the Ocean Palace. But just between you and I, I've not placed much faith in any answers I managed to give you right now. She's been different as of late. We mean completely different, as in a different person, just hiding. We've already seen that before. The Queen's Council, Lord Dalton, was in charge of the Ocean Palace's construction until a wandering prophet arrived and took over. Lord Dalton's in a foul mood these days. Yes, he is. Best of running if you can. 
He's been a bit of a slat. I place in the ocean palace and secure everlasting glory to the kingdom of Zeal. There will be no more fear or sadness and eternal peace. Unless, of course, you're, t you're taking the eternal peace. No, I'm not taking that joke back either. <laughs> In Bellazar, who designed the black one, the ocean palace has vanished. How strange that the three gurus who guidance yield to its present glory will disappear at once. They say that Gaspar, the guru of time, can use his work on some deserted island. He tries to make a time egg or some such nonsense, but no one's seen him for years. This way leads to the Mammon Machine Chamber. Good, we'll, we'll take a look at that in a second or two. I want to be the wind, Massa. Oh, you will someday if you try hard enough. Our big sister Doreen went to Enhouser again. Yeah, she likes to dream. I like the wind better than dreams. Whoosh! See Silent Night if you're still here? Whoosh! Beings that are born of dreams must always return to them in the end. But at times, people dreams and prayers call upon the power of Lavos and are made reality. Lavos. Damn you, big fire. The Queen must have borne a great deal of pain and sorrow in silence. Progress requires equal sacrifice. Much must have been given to allow zeal to attain glory, it now knows. <laughs> this way I'll take you to the bedchambers. Right, okay, so bedchambers maybe first. This way leads to the Queen's audience chamber. Listen to me, the Earth is alive and always has been. She changes slowly so you can never see it. From flatlands into mountains, from mountains into seas. A way may someday open even to the Forbidden Shrine to the north, or to the Sun Temple. I could take untold years. So I'll go right to left. I'll go right to left. <laughs> Scala. Oh, Janice, you've returned. Something wrong? The Black Winds. You feel the foreboding too? Don't worry, it'll be alright. Here, keep this close. What is it? It's an amulet containing my prayers. If something should happen, it will keep you safe. I wish that I could remain with you always, but Mother has other plans. It's not our mother. She looks like her, but she's not the same inside. Even still, forgive me, Janice. Pardons, Your Highness. The Queen requests your immediate presence at the Ocean Palace. Very well. Well then, Janice, I must be on my way. Oh, who might you be? Forgive me, my lady, but we must hurry. If we're late, I fear I'll be... Well, you know the Queen. Of course, my apologies. Hmm, something is afoot here. And it's not Elizabethan. Go away. Go away. I don't want to go away. Oh well, bugger it, I'll go away then. Lady Scarlet's pendant was made from the same red stone as the Mammon machine. When she prays to the device, the pendant glows in an unearthly light. Lavos. The influence of Lavos is here. <laughs> the 
look at the machine next rather than going into there, I think. Because I think that wastes the story. I imagine she said she had business at the Ocean Palace and I may pass until her return. Your pendant it looks identical to Lady Scarlet's. I don't know when Lady Scarlet commu communes with a mammon machine, her pendant glows a strange light. It's like Jurassic Park! <laughs> the door cannot be open from the outside, save so powerful key, like, uh, alright, okay. Let's see what the machine does with us, shall we, first, before we go to the, to the audience chamber. The Prophet's aura is clouded with hatred and sorrow. If he does not free himself with those emotions, he will destroy himself and those he loves along with him. Oh, He doesn't want to do that. Beyond lies the Mammon Machine Chamber. You can feel the glorious energy of lava surging from it. It's not glorious. The Mammon Machine. You came to see it? Yes. Thought as much, can you feel the flow of the mighty Lavas' power? How oh, it brings tears to my eyes. I mean, that would be the fart, wouldn't it? And look, the garden, it is weeded. Nice. Welcome back, dude. You've missed exposition, exposition, and exposition. Pendant, just like the scholars. Some sort of speaking to the device in the language only two of them could understand. The Mammon machine is moved to the Ocean Palace. We can extract even more energy from Lavos. Dream of eternal life is made possible. Oh, mighty queen, our kingdom will reign for all eternity. And I feel what I'm going to do is not going to be a great idea. When the man when the machine was finished, the queen became a different person almost overnight. A much colder one. Just between us, I heard that Amy opposes her majesty. I don't just see her, but one's vanished and never heard from him again. Oh, well, look who the name is. Meliqua, the guru of life, opposed the Queen's plans and disappeared shortly thereafter. The person who reforged our blade. Page me to consider some conspiracy may be at work, but it's terribly suspicious. The three gurus constructed the mammon machine from a reddish stone and it had been kept in the royal treasury for generations. The guru of life, Meliqua, was in charge of the plans and constructed the conducted a great deal of research on the nature of Lavos. But now, oh, I'm sure you know the rest. Are you doing you doing uh, Tomb Raider tonight, dude? Operating a mammon machine requires magic powerful enough to regulate the energy in which the machine extracts. Expecting the guru, except the gurus, Lady Scala is the only one who has such power. We are so... Ooh, yes. So I can't... I can't use the pendant that day yet, and so I've got to go into the um, I've got to go to the audience chamber instead. Well, well, okay then. <laughs> Strange. Why no move? Hmm. There must be something different about that pendant. I have an idea. I'm going to change party members. <laughs> yeah, works for Boris. <laughs> <Ba -dum -tsh. laughs> Cause I have a feeling 
This will only work for Hebby. Hmm, it won't budge. Okay then. I was going to say why would you not budge, but here we go. It'll probably budge now. What's the bet he last he doesn't last the end of the week? We did it! Robin go. No be scared, Poggy. I am scared, stop it. Who are you? How did you get in here? Your Majesty. These are the bringers of disaster I have with whom I spoke. Indeed, they are... They and the, the gurus alike. How dare you outlanders attempt to oppose me? He's not standing in the leadership race. Makes sense. Yeah, I would, I would say so, even though he's a complete dumbass. There were no Starmers going to go for a full, full vote and no confidence by them keeping old um, Boris in. Dalton sees them. Yes, Your Majesty, with pleasure. Golem. What the fuck? supposed to die here? Is that the problem? Yeah, I was supposed to die here, that problem, yeah. <laughs> Fear not, I won't kill you. Not immediately, that is. I'll allow you to sample every type of pain and fear imaginable first. By the time we're through, you'll be begging us to end your suffering. Ah, what a delicious diversion. Yeah, it was it was needed, it was required, that's fine. It's the Dark Souls opening fight bit. Oh, so you'll be heading to Earth Circular 2020. Hmm, <laughs> idiots. What will you do, Scala? Let us help them. I don't think it'll be of any use. You'll be in trouble if you let them escape. Don't worry about me, I'll be fine. And they just might be able to rescue my McCoy. Hmm. 
Are you all right? Quickly, you must flee the palace. And if you can, please, free the Guru of Life. But where is the, are they? He was sent to the Mountain of Woe for opposing my mother's plan. Please, you must help him. I'm afraid I cannot allow that. Why not? The Mountain of Woe? Where is the Mountain of Woe? Your meddling tires me. It seems I need to put an end to you here. No, you mustn't. Don't! <laughs> well, at least, what, 70 years earlier? Hmm, very well, I'll spare their lives, but in return, you will cooperate with me, Scala. Now, show me how it is you came here. Hmm, so you came through here. Now, Scala, once I throw them in, you will seal this portal shut. No, no you can't make me. <laughs> Pre blowjobs? <laughs> you, you have obey me. Their lives are at stake. Right, very well. So, so somehow we've got to get back to here, wherever here is. Please forgive me. Why did the prophet let us go? Take Lavos power. Lavos get weak? Wait a minute. The design from the door to that pendant opened. I've seen it in other places. Ah, we've got to go back here. Oh my, yes. A curious quest engraved here. The mysterious force seals it shut. Help me old chuffer, me old up. Oh, God, you got your live stream license. Hello, Jodderbop. Long time no see. How you doing, man? And you're catching us towards the end of the stream. But yeah, welcome in. How, is, how has life been for you, me old mucker? Let's check it out, Pokey. <laughs> your hood bleed. Right, we need to fly. Uh, it would be over to here. <laughs> yeah, as it got me old china, me old teapot. Right, so what we're gonna do? We're gonna get to the oh thing we. I am, mate. I am. I've had a good weekend. This week has been eventful in the news, but not for me, which is good. Yeah, I'm still going, still. <laughs> the old handbag. <laughs> it's been good. Oh, my dinner get. Oh, fuck it out. Piss. Rest first, lad. That's a good idea. Just fucking rest first. <sighs> no, that's not the one. God damn it, Robin. Where is your hut? <laughs> <laughs> Do 
Just one pantaloon, not a pair. That's because of that, that boss fight where it, I was meant to die, but I forgot to actually, you know, did a decent thing and rest up because I forgot uh, all bloody you know, health. See, that's better. But yeah, as I say, we're going to go to the future world. And then that's where I'll save it. And that's where I'll call it for this afternoon. Have a cup of tea, me old diaphragm. <laughs> All right, me old trouser press, me old iron brew. Me old arcade machine. Me old loose fitting bra. Puggy's level has increased. Ice toss. Oh my. <laughs> we had, had a, so we had a cup of tea and then we went home. It does. <laughs> oh wow, I'll take doors off. Falcon punch. Yeah, me old kangaroo pouch. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> See how long you last before you shrink. <laughs> Me old Death Star model from 1981. <laughs> yeah, having me unmuted is a good idea. Well, I say that, but you know. It's like, come on, come on, we're moving far too slowly. Right. <laughs> the old instruction manual for the Ah, you've been to the Magic Kingdom. With that pillar of light sealed, you'll be needing to find a way to move through time more freely, should you wish to return. Yes. I recall someone working on such a device. The Wings of Time, I believe he called it. Now, sadly, Fear the man's mind. Hang on. <coughs> Sorry, this is the old guy, isn't it? So, sadly, I fear the man's mind left him in the course of this long years of research. <laughs> so, it's definitely worth it then. <laughs> Actually, this might be a good place to call it because then we, we can start by going to the future world go through those doors in that place in that um, laboratory because there's another door in the other part where all the people are hiding going we've still got no food we're starving we're absolutely starving we are so I think this would be a good place to call it so I want to thank everyone for being here this afternoon I owe my career success to this game. <laughs> and so you should. <laughs> but yeah, I I'm enjoying it so far. You work night shift at a hotel. But do you enjoy it? But do you enjoy it indeed? Well, ladies and gentlemen, then, in that case, we will call it here for now. And then, I could, then we'll come back to it tonight. <laughs> so, 
I'll be back between half six, seven o'clock for more of this. Uh, where we'll go to the future world and have a look around there and see about this gate thing. Who's on for a raid though? Because we haven't done a raid. We haven't done a raid this week. And really, I really should. I really should. Hmm. Who is on? Who is on? I'll catch you later, John and Bob. Thank you very much for being here, matey. Uh, oh, Cammy's on. Right. Who shall we go see? I'll give you a choice of two. I'll give you a choice of two. Lisa is going to be playing uh, Crash Bandicoot 2. Or Kamikaze Kitten is playing Resident Evil 2. <laughs> He's pointing randomly at him. Evil Eva. Right. Tell you what, we'll go see Lisa. We'll go see Lisa. Are you, are you a bit stinky now after after the gardening? Let's go Lisi Lisa Relly. So I will catch you later. Have yourselves a wonderful afternoon. So I'll just I'll just leave you with the silky silky voice going bye. Mm. Bye bye. Let's go right. <laughs>